Hey, y'all, welcome back to the Behind the Bench Sports Network, man. Uh, this is the Kobe Bryant Film Room, man. And I've got a bone to pick. I got to get this off, and I got to get this shit off right now. Uh, I might curse a little bit in this audio, so if you got kids around, you know what to do. All right, let's 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 get into this. Um, so I, I got a comment um, from uh, somebody critiquing me on my evaluation of Bronny James in my last video that I did. Um you got to understand something about me. The only thing I give a fuck about is film. So the only thing I care about is film. Kobe Bryant film room. I only give a damn about film. So if I'm breaking down Bronny's film and I'm picking his game apart and he plays bad, I'm going to call him out. If I'm breaking down the game and he plays well, I'm going to break that down and show you what he did right. I'm not here to to give you this agenda-based conversation, you know, this feel-good story or this horror story. I'm not here to give you a narrative. I'm here to give you what I actually see in film, on film, right? Some of you guys, y'all have an obsession with LeBron or you hate LeBron. It's either of the two. Listen, I don't like the guy myself. I believe what he's done to the game has harmed the game overall. I believe that LeBron James is passive aggressive and he has a whole media conglomerate working on his behalf in order to hide his deficiencies. Right. And I believe he does take shortcuts in the game of basketball. But I'm not going to sit here and deny that LeBron James is a great basketball player. Uh, for his career based on what I see on film, right? There's things that he does that you have to acknowledge is great, right? Uh, When I'm evaluating his son, right? Yes, LeBron made some comments about his son being better than guys in the league, and we got on him for that. We all know that shit is not true. My evaluation of Bronny James is I don't think he's a legit NBA player. That's just me personally. That's my thoughts. I don't believe Bronny is a G League player. That's just me personally. Right? Now, I do leave room for the young man to prove me wrong. That's what this is about. Guys going out there, playing with the chip on their shoulders, and proving people wrong. You guys, you want to condemn him to hell no matter what he does. Right. I'm not about that. I'm about breaking down the film. If he plays well, I give him his respect based on film. If he doesn't play well, I give him his uh, I give him um, hell. You know, I might give him hell depending on how bad he plays. Now, uh, when we look at the film, right, we see improvements of what he did between the last game and this game. And what did I say? Hey, keep it up, man. Keep it up. That's what the, the, it when somebody when you criticize somebody for doing some shit like I, I see it like this. If I criticize my kids, right. I'm going to give them praise when they when they uh, fix the things that I criticize them for. Right. So you can't just chastise somebody all the time, no matter what they do. That's insane. That's insane. If you got a problem with me breaking down film or me talking about what I see and things like that, that's you. That's a you problem. You need to go to some other channel where you can watch your LeBron porn. Right. And this is this is to um, this is to LeBron fans right here, because I got something for all for everybody. LeBron fans don't want you to talk about what you see on the court. What I seen on the court was shit, right? The the kid, right? He has a lot to learn, right? Um, everybody admits that he probably shouldn't have gotten to the NBA, that he shouldn't have gotten to the NBA. You guys know where the energy is coming from because LeBron was talking shit. You can't act like he's like LeBron and is, is innocent as far as hyping up his son, right? Can't act like the media is not doing what they're doing. Nobody's blind here. Two, two guys who's not going to give Bronny props under any circumstance. I got the message to you. What are you getting out of this? Right? 
Are you here for basketball? The game of basketball is pure, right? Acknowledge, man, you're just as you're you're just as bad as the dick riders, right? Acknowledge what he did good and move forward, bro. That's it. We're based if you Listen, the way to keep this shit 100, I'm going to keep it real with you. The way to, sh to keep this shit solid is you judge based on film. That's the righteous way to judge. Off merit, off of film, not off of feeling. You guys are too emotional on both sides. Y'all too damn emotional for me. It's too much estrogen. You too, you too, some of y'all are too committed into this kid failing and some of y'all are too committed into this kid doing well let him fucking grow right let this dude grow let him prove it on the court right do i am i saying he's alan iverson hell no but let him prove it on the court. Let him go out there and, and, and show you why he should be a second round pick. Why he should be playing for the Lakers. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? But y'all don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, some of y'all wanna want us to praise him no matter what. Oh, see? What y'all gonna say now? What was what were we supposed to say before? He playing great? What were we supposed to do with that? He wasn't showing no energy. He won't come into the ball. He was standing in the fucking corner. What were we supposed to say? You tell me what I was supposed to do with that. Then you got the other side of the bullshit talking about, oh, well, yeah, he only scored 12 points. Yeah, but it's the way he scored. It's the aggressiveness and the, the passion that he played with. If you watch the game, you jackass. So there's a difference between the way he played, the energy that he had, right? He wanted all the smoke last game. That's what you want to see. Stats, to me, are really irrelevant when I'm judging a player on the summer league. It's really irrelevant. I want to see what he can and can't do. I want to see flashes of brilliance, right? Had he scored nine points and played the same way, I would have been, you know, I would have critiqued it and showed you the difference between his last nine point game. Are there players playing better than him? Yes. Right. But at the at this point, bro, at this point, you have to acknowledge shit as a man, bro, as a man, bro. As a man. Some of sometimes this stuff is about manhood, bro. As a man saying, hey, you know what? He played well. Why can't you do that, bro? Or as a man, you know what? He played like shit tonight. Y'all act like hoes, man. Y'all act like hoes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on your menstrual cycle with this basketball stuff. Enough is enough. Both sides be on bullshit, bro. Capping, man. Stop capping. You know what I'm saying? A dude said, well, you'll see. You'll see. Probably gonna prove y'all wrong. Okay, fine. I'm still going to judge him based on his last performance. What I, I'm going to judge him based on what I've seen. If he proves me wrong, okay, whatever. That doesn't mean I'm wrong about my assessment of him playing like shit. Does that make sense to you? Right now, he's playing like shit. It has nothing to do with the future. God, dog, man, niggas. Bro, y'all y'all be acting like hoes, bro. Y'all be acting like hoes for real, bro. Y'all need to get off that shit, man. Y'all need to for real look look in the mirror at yourselves and, and really be honest, bro. Like, is this for me? Is, 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 am I doing this just to paint a narrative of what I want to see, of the outcome that I want to see, or am I being realistic, bro? This is why when you look at film, film is undeniable. It take the emotions out of it, bro. Did he fuck up? Yes or no. Period, bro. But but anyways, I ain't I ain't gonna hold y'all. I just had to say something about that shit because like these these dudes pissing me off with this bullshit, bro. I'm not saying he's the greatest player on the in the world. I'm not even gonna say he's NBA material. I'm saying he fixed the things that we critiqued him on based on my last video. 
That's it. But anyways, this is the Kobe Bryant film room. I had to double back and get on people ass paws for all this bullshit, man. This is dumb. This is dumb. They they just want uh, some people want LeBron nothing but LeBron dick riding videos, and then some people want nothing but LeBron hate videos. You know what I'm saying? And I and I don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, y'all like and subscribe to content. You know what I'm saying? Be reasonable out there, bro. Like be reasonable. Judge the game off film. Get out your feelings, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But y'all subscribe to the channel Behind the Bench Sports Network, man. Peace.